Hello everybody, this is teacher Farah Al Maimouni. Today we're gonna take unit one, lesson one, jobs, pupils book page 12, activity book page six. Our objectives are gonna be, number one, associate new vocabulary about jobs with their definition, two, point out benefits of each job, Three, discuss favorite jobs among the list in page 12. Now we're going to start with a story. I'm going to tell you a story in which we have 10 characters with different jobs. Okay, let's start. Hello, I'm Pam. I'm a photographer. A photographer takes photos with a camera. What kind of photos do you like to take? For me personally, I like to take photos of nature, like this beautiful photo of a sunset. I also like to take photos of ruins of famous buildings in history. I also like to take photos of me and my friends and my family. Speaking of friends, this is my friend Angela. She works in a science lab. She is a scientist. Hi, Pam. Hi, everybody. I'm Angela, the scientist. A scientist does experiments. Okay, well, dear students, this is the Unit 1 song. I'm going to sing it so you can try to memorize it so you will know how to pronounce the new vocabulary. All right, let's start. <clears throat> I am a photographer, she is a scientist. I take photos and she does experiments. I am a photographer, she is a scientist. I take photos and she does experiments. Okay, so let's continue the story. Pam, what's inside these speakers? Angela? I'm working on a very famous medicine. Pam, is it by any chance a medicine that'll get rid of the coronavirus? Angela, everybody wants to see the end of COVID-19. Oh God, oh God, oh my God. Angela, it blew up in your face. Are you all right? No, I'm not. Please call the ambulance. Hi, I'm Andy, the paramedic. This paramedic is going to help you. I will treat your injuries, Miss Angela, and take you to the hospital. Thank you, Mr. Andy, the paramedic. Pam, I'm so glad you are fine, Angela. Being the photographer that I am, I will take a photo of you coming out of the hospital. Smile. Oh, no. My God, Angela, your teeth are so ugly. This is a very ugly smile. We have to go to someone and fix it. Who should Angela see? She should see a doctor who fixes teeth. What's the name of that doctor? It's called dentist. Hi, Angela. I'm your dentist, Aaron. I will fix your rotten teeth. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, dentist. Now we are back to the Unit 1 song. Let's sing one more time. I am a photographer, she is a scientist. I take photos and she does experiments. He is a paramedic, she is a dentist. He treats injuries and she works with teeth. Um, poor Angela, you've been through a lot. To make it up to you, I'll take you to a hairdresser for a new haircut. Hello, I'm Kelly, the hairdresser. So, um, what are the tools a hairdresser uses to cut 
dry and style the hair. A hairdresser uses a comb, scissors, hair dryer, hair straightener, curling iron. Angela, I feel refreshed after the new haircut. Now I must go to the library to get a book on COVID-19. Pam, are you still going to work on the medicine? Angela, a scientist never quits. Hello, I'm Phyllis, the librarian. I work at the library. What kind of books do you enjoy reading? We have so many books here. Now, your teacher loves to read these kinds of books. Books about space. Books about history and famous novels by famous authors like Emma by J uh, Jane Austen. Now, what are the rules of reading in the library? There is one important rule, which is shh, be quiet. Now we are back to the Unit 1 song. Let's sing again. Come on. I am a photographer, she is a scientist. I take photos and she does experiments. He is a paramedic, she is a dentist. He treats injuries and she works with teeth. She is a hairdresser, she is a librarian. She cuts the hair and she works in a library. A fight erupted the silence of the library. Pam, the photographer, Angela, the scientist, are going to see who is fighting. They found two men fighting. This is Jim. He's a graphic designer. He draws pictures using his computer. What does a graphic designer design? He designs posters, which are advertisements uh, of a lot of things, like this is an advertisement for cars. He designs magazine covers. He designs book covers, all right? Excuse me, this is Dwight. I am an architect. An architect's job is far more important than a graphic designer. An architect designs buildings, your home, your school, the shopping mall you love so much. I'm an excellent architect. This is my boss, Jan, and she thinks so too. What other buildings can an architect design? An architect designs hospitals, restaurants, museums, banks, and many, many, many other buildings. Let's get back to the Unit 1 song. I am a photographer, she is a scientist. I take photos and she does experiments. He is a paramedic, she is a dentist. He treats injuries and she works with teeth. She is a hairdresser, she is a librarian, she cuts the hair and she works in a library. He is an architect, he is a graphic designer, he designs buildings, the other designs advertisements. So, Jim and Dwight are fighting over whose job is more important, a graphic designer or an architect. What do you think and why? Well, the photographer Pam and the scientist Angela think that the graphic designer and the architect should settle their argument by going to see a judge. This is Judge Michael. A judge is a person in charge of a trial in a court. The judge is the person who decides who's guilty and who's not guilty, who's right and who's wrong. So, let's read about what the judge is going to tell uh, Jim and Dwight, the graphic designer and the architect. 
Judge Michael, plead your case. Dwight, I'm an architect, and my job is more important than a graphic designer. Jim, objection. I'm a graphic designer, and my job is more important than an architect. I design advertisements to plenty of products. Without advertisements, how will people know what to buy? Dwight, objection. Your Honor, if a product is so good, it will sell without advertisement. However, an architect makes sure to design the building so well that without his services, this courtroom may fall on your head. Jim, objection. Architects are nothing without construction workers. Judge Michael, overrule. Without architects, construction workers wouldn't know how to build a building. Dwight, well said, your honor. May I add that you look dazzlingly handsome today? Judge Michael, of course I'm dazzling. I'm going to my son's racing match in about, ooh, two minutes. We will postpone this trial to another day. This is Ryan, my son. He's an athlete. An athlete runs fast. Why is being an athlete a good thing? One, it gives you strong muscles. Two, it develops your motor skills. Three, it helps keep your weight healthy. One more time or the last time with Unit 1 song. <clears throat> I am a photographer. She is a scientist. I take photos and she does experiments. He is a paramedic. She is a dentist. He treats injuries and she works with teeth. She is a hairdresser, she is a librarian, she cuts the hair and she works in a library. He is an architect, he is a graphic designer, he designs buildings, the other designs adver advertisements. He is a judge, his son is an athlete, he gives decisions, his son runs in the street. So which job is more important, an architect or a graphic designer? Dwight, obviously, an architect. Jim, oh, come at it, Dwight. You know, without a graphic designer, this teacher wouldn't have been able to make this lesson. Who do you think designed all these pictures she's used? A graphic designer, that's right, this picture. This picture of an athlete, this picture of a scientist, this picture of a hairdresser, this picture of a dentist, this picture of a, a photographer, and this picture of a judge are all designed and made by a graphic designer. The end. So, I hope you enjoyed the story. Now, I want you to tell me what's your favorite job among those 10 jobs and why. Okay, so we, uh, I want you to write or speak about that. And in the next virtual lesson, we're going to talk about it. All right. Now, your homework is activity book, page six. This was Teacher Farah Al Maimouni. Thank you very much.